Hello, my name is Jason. I'm an Applications Engineer in the Precision Systems Business Unit at Texas Instruments. Today I'll be going over the LMP9150 Simulated Gas Detection Demo. Let's take a closer look at the board. Starting off with the WaveVision 4 Data Capture Board, we'll be using this board to drive our DAC board. It's the DAC 121S101. We'll be using the DAC to create a simulated thermal pile voltage, which we'll be sending over to the LMP9150 board. Here's the LMP9150 here. It's part of our sensor AFE family, and it's a configurable analog front end for NDIR sensing applications. The LMP9150's output will be sent to a 14-bit ADC, which will in turn go to our SPI-04 data capture board. Via USB, it will be sent to our sensor AFE software. Looking at our sen sensor AFE software, starting with the virtual device, we could go through the various blocks, and each colored block is programmable. On the top left, customer inputs. On the left of the screen, estimated device performance. In the bottom left is measured system performance. To take a measurement, go to the measurement tab and click run. Here we see our output is at about 1.5 volts. Now the LMP9150 has the ability to adjust the output voltage and we could do this via software by going to the customer input and typing in the voltage that we want to shift by. Let's go for 1.5 volts here. Click the run again and we see now the output has shifted to nearly the negative rail of our application. Users will benefit from this ability because now the user can achieve maximum full-scale range, which will lower the ADC resolution requirements. Let's take another measurement by going back to the DAC WaveVision 4 board, stopping our waveform, and loading a user-defined ramp. Click Start Waveform and return to the Sensor AFE software. Click Run again to see what we have. Here you'll see a ramp which achieves about one third of the full scale range of our ADC. Now, if we go back to the virtual device, we could see how the LMP9150 can be used for a higher gain on the PGA2. We'll go to 8 and go back to the measurement tab, clicking Run once more. We see now how our output voltage is now utilizing the complete full-scale range, once again minimizing ADC resolution requirements. Let's go back to the virtual device. Today we've seen how we could go into these blocks of the LMP9150 and configure for different gain settings and also go into the offset adjust DAC and configure for various output offsets. This concludes our demo of the LMP9150 configurable analog front end for NDIR applications. For more information, please visit ti.com slash sensor AFE. Have a good day.